drop test. 12 and a half feet off the balcony. There we go. So the next test we got here for the Leatherman Rebar is a cutting test. It's got nice replaceable cutters. Let's see how those things work. I've used these clamp methods before on other multi-tools. Start squeezing on this thing. Oh yeah, that thing's sharp. So we're going to take and throw a cloth over it so it doesn't hurt the camera or me. Make sure you guys don't try this at home. I'm doing it so you don't have to. There we go. Start cranking on it. Oh. Alright, I think I about maxed out this clamp. Yep. yep. So, my clamp's maxed out. Let's take this off and look at it. Huh. Let's put this back on here. Oh, release the pressure. And looks like this is what happened. So it started cutting on it. It just wouldn't go all the way through. It's a really, really hard screw. So this is probably one of those decking screws or construction screws. This right here is one of those self-tapping, self-drilling screws for metal. So I imagine this is going to be horrible. All right. It's starting to bite into it right there. Let's throw this over. All right. Keep the flying debris down. Alright, start cranking. There's got to be a better way to do this. I must say so far I am impressed. There's no way you're going to squeeze this Leatherman. <laughs> That's not good. Hey guys, we're out here at the range. So, you kind of guessed it. Nebraska has a thing for shooting stuff with shotguns. Here we go. We're about, I don't know, 25, 30 feet off. So, this is how it turned out. It's actually warped. <laughs> the whole tool's actually warped. You guys can see that. <laughs> That's got a nice little bend to it. Let's see if we can straighten that out. Alright guys, so like obviously I cut the little pole in half with the 12 gauge. Keep going. There's the other piece. Keep going back down in here. There it is, just hanging out. Ah, so it's about 10 feet away from where it was. Hey guys, what's going on? So this is the results of all of our testing. And just to recap what we've done, we've dropped it from 12 and a half feet. We've put it in a rock tumbler for an hour and a couple minutes. And we've 
did a cutting test and we used a clamp to aid in the squeezing of the multi-tool and that clamp exerted more than 300 pounds my scale only went up to 300 pounds and it well surpassed that so this multi-tool took more than 300 pounds in squeezing on the cutting test and I ran it over four times with my Jeep and that didn't really do anything to the tool <laughs> and I shot it two times with a shotgun I missed the first shot so looks like I need to go to the range and practice with my shotgun been spending too much time with my pistols I guess so but this is the results you guys can see lead splatter right here and there's just little shards of lead hanging off this thing all over the place you guys can see the shattered out there's still a piece of that wire cutter right there a replaceable wire cutter 154 cm this one's been completely shattered out there's dents right here there's a big dent and a dent and a dent from the shot there's bent in uh, the body piece comes up here and where it connects to the pliers that right there is bent in and it makes it hard to open and shut this thing so it actually has to bend around it and you guys can see the rock tumble finish we got on this thing and the Cabela's logo actually is still there I was actually thinking that thing was going to be gone you know in a rock tumbler so but there's a whole bunch of shotgun dents right here shotgun pellet dents from that number five shot I shot it with and we're missing a rivet we blew this thing out when we were doing the squeeze test this just uh, helps keep your pliers it rides right here on this little groove and it helps keep your pliers deployed so like this right here so you guys can see let's get this screw so that's what it looks like there's the rivet that and then the piece sits right down in there and where did I put my rivet here's the rivet <laughs> You guys can see that little thing. So that little rivet got blown out, and this piece went shooting across the room. So I don't recommend you guys do this with your multi-tool, you know. And their warranty program is a great program, and we should be thankful we have it. But when somebody does a test like this, or a video, or abuses their multi-tool like this, that's straight up abuse and that Leatherman should never have to replace a tool like that that's not what their warranty's for you know if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna shoot it with a shotgun and torture test it like I've done you know at least have the, enough respect to not send your multi-tool into Leatherman and have them replace your tool for you you know that's <laughs> that's against my moral standards and I'm not going to be sending this in and getting it replaced. Um, I bet you I could send it in and they would replace it. they probably be like, hey, what the heck this guy do to this thing? But I'm not like that. And if you guys want to call me out on that, be more than I'm, I'd be more than happy to show you guys this thing anytime you guys want to. So I'll just leave a comment in the section below if you guys want to see this tool. And it'll make an appearance in the next video I make. And you guys can do that anytime. This tool is going to be a constant reminder of the durability of a Leatherman tool. You know, the rebar is one of my favorite tools. I really like it. And I was going to do this with a Leatherman Wave, but unfortunately, my wife would not give that thing back. She actually hid it from me, so I wouldn't take it and torture it. <laughs> so, man... So that's that's why we did the the rebar. This body that they have is so thick and so durable. You know, I mean, these things are indestructible under normal use. The only way I was able to destroy this thing was to go extreme on it. And <laughs> yeah, breaks my heart to see this thing like that. Oh man, but I hope it was a good video for you guys. I uh, I hope it really turned out well. I'm currently looking into getting a couple more cameras and that way I can get some more angles and just have better video for you guys. My project is just getting started and this thing is gonna, well, I'm gonna be doing stuff like this all the time and I'm gonna try to help you guys improve your gear and I hope, I really, I really hope that 
I have installed some confidence in your multi-tool, you know. I really hope that you have some confidence in how strong they are, how durable they are, what they can take, you know. These things are fantastic, and I am so glad I found Leatherman's. And I'm really glad that I get to carry one around. And I'm really glad I get to carry one on my job. So, anyhow, that's what I've got for you guys. If you guys like my video, I appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, I really appreciate that. And if you guys ever have a video that you would like to see, um, or anything like that, let me know. And I'll see what I can make happen for you guys. So I guess I hope you have a very good day. And don't do this to your multi-tool. I did it so you don't have to. So... Just share the video and keep your tools nice so you guys have them so you're not dropping a hundred bucks. Later.